Just wanted to cover a couple different models keypads for the Fallen VFD. Um, so first of all, we have the OP-H101 and we also have the OP-H102. I'll start with the OP-H101 external keyboard. Um, this is what you receive. There's nothing else. Uh, so you just get the keypad and I'll open it up. and some instructions, which are all in Chinese. So not much help to a lot of people. The instructions are online um, because there are a few settings you actually have to change to make it work with your VFD. It doesn't work with the VFD straight out of the box, uh, but I'll go through that in a second. So as you can see, the unit is a membrane keyboard. Uh, the buttons do have a little bit of a click response there. It's quite similar to a few other keypads you might have used in the past. It does have a protective screen on the screen there, so I'm just going to leave that in place. Uh, the knob is quite smooth, um, and as you can see, it doesn't really line up with the picture there, but it's almost a full circle. Uh, on the back here, we've got an Ethernet connector. That's for the RS-485 connection. Uh, you just use a straight LAN cable to go from this to the VFD. It plugs straight in. Uh, you don't need special cables or anything like that. The only thing is to make sure it's not a crossover cable because that won't work with this particular standard. Um, on the side here, we do have little clips which help it lock into a, um, a case of some type. And we also have the face cover extending past the board itself, um, which is really good because you can just print or cut a hole out, which is the same size as the board, push it in, and these little clips lock it in place. Uh, you don't have to do any fancy designs for it to keep it held in place. Um, to program it, you have to go into the VFD and set up these settings um, for it to work. And you do also have the option of leaving certain settings off on this keypad and using the main keypad. Uh, if you want to sort of leave it where the other keypad controls certain features, I'm not sure where you're gonna use that, but it does have that ability. Uh, just another quick look at the, the device. I'm not sure how these buttons would hold up over time, but given the fact that you'll probably only be using the knob most of the time, or use, which I do, uh, just using the display as a readout. The display is the exact same as what's on the VFD. Same number of digits, there's not anything extra there. Okay. So over to the OP-H102. You do receive quite a bit more with this particular kit. Um, once again, we've got the instructions in Chinese. You receive the panel itself. As you can see, these are actually protruding buttons. Get into that more. You receive the back plate. Uh, so this actually fits into there and locks in like that and you can remove it. The back plate is similar to the other one where you could actually cut a hole for the back plate and it would just clip in, but the board itself, because it's a flat side, you probably should use this with it. If you try and use it without, um, you might have a bit more of a hard time to mount it um, or use something similar where it has clips on the case. Personally, this controller looks nicer. The buttons actually feel a lot easier to press. And it mimics the actual VFD layout. So it's not as confusing having buttons in different places. The dial goes all the way from left to right, which makes it a bit easier to see where you're 
spindle set to before you start up, up. Uh, the screen once again the screen is the same as the vfd same number of digits you can actually see the digits a bit clearer on this one so five characters um, on the back it's the same thing it has the ethernet connector there's just a little picture off the bottom points and the clip on top um, same with the case so yeah it, it actually does going and clicks in so it's not going to come loose you can see there it's in there quite stable the cable just pokes through the hole quite easy to access and this one actually does include a cable so I think it's about two meters I believe uh, it is a shielded cable um, probably similar to a cat 5e looking at the wires in there it's just a straight through so over here we've got the dimensions on the printout um, you have to go through the settings once again they're all the same it's just purely cosmetic the differences and different buttons uh, the functionality is the exact same between the two devices it's just a personal preference which way you want to go. Okay, um, look, if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you. Bye.